Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. 2019. Two zero. What's going on? One nine. Welcome to 2019. New year, new studio. New studio. It's comfy in here, too. It's the lighting itself. It's just It's a cozy. normal temperature. It feels strange, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, you don't have to wrap up. <laughs> or strip down. Or strip down. <laughs> yeah. You guys haven't seen those ones yet. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Yes, we are here with poor Bill and myself. And you. Whoever you are. So what's going on? How much, man? Just uh, got off work. Looking good. Thank you. <laughs> got my the logo taped up for uh, legal reasons. Legal reasons. <laughs> but yeah, he can. He's not allowed to say where he works. No one's able to find out. Yeah, it's I actually secret. don't work. Top secret, possibly government related. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just uh, kind of tired, but that's the grind. Hell did you yeah. work today? I did. Yeah, you did, yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So what's new with you? Not a whole lot, except for uh, a whole lot at the moment. Just, uh... So what's new with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole podcast, that's just, uh... So what's been happening with you? Right, anyway. yeah. Then by the end of it, I'm fucking bawling my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a podcast. No, this, this is isn't a, a fucking a intervention or, or something. Or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I uh, decided to, just as a marker, not because it's a new year, but just as a marker, start eating healthy by the 1st of January and uh, running and trying to stay active. Yes. But, uh, woo. Yes, um, so, so far so good, but just as a marker, not because New Year, you know, New Year, New Me, no resolutions. I'm just like, let's just do it instead of fucking, you know, because I've been eating like crap for all these years. I mean, I don't think I've ever told myself no with yeah. a lot of things, if anything. <laughs> but you know, I was never like, oh, we probably shouldn't, have Jacob. No, I was always like, yeah, why waste it? You know? Yeah. <laughs> no holding back at all. No. Any, I mean, I'm talking food-wise, you know, mainly. It's like, if I want a cheeseburger. I must have eaten over 100 cheeseburgers last year. <laughs> I, I got to start doing something, that's like, physically active, you know. Yeah. Unless uh, I want to kick the bucket at an early age, I guess. And this ain't a resolution. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you? You still, uh... Uh, yeah, well, since we've been tearing up the shop, that includes our gym and haven't been able to exercise much, and I've been lazy fuck about it, but finally got back to it today. Nice. Finally, yeah, so the shit's more moved around now, so... Yep. <laughs> get back into the... You hit it things. back back today? You got back at it today? Yep, yep. How was it? It was great. Well... Did it feel good? Yeah, I don't feel like a piece of shit. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because I was just all last year. I felt I didn't feel like a piece of shit, but I was doing exactly I felt great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like yeah. And you were so active, and it, well, it hasn't even been that long since you haven't worked out. And you're like, man, I felt like a turd. I don't know. It feels like a while for me. Um, how long has it been? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's how long it's been. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You don't know. Um, you don't even know in a calendar. Holidays you? You got all these maps for me <laughs> now. <laughs> but um, oh yeah. So is is it a fight between like hedonism and damn? I like where you're going so far. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> sounds like it. It sounds <laughs> like it. <laughs> sounds uh, like and like uh, hedonism and like trying to be. Conscientious about what you're doing to yourself, I guess. Yeah, because I, mean, I never cared. Some people you say, know. you know, I'm here to live, fucking, you know, whatever, I'd do right, whatever. I'm not right. here to be fucking healthy. It's like we're all going to die anyway, and all that. Yeah, that's I feel all, like that nihilistic true. type. Is that nihilism? Well, kind of like nothing matters. How, depends how you, some people are 
Well, that's anyway, I'm going by the Big Lebowski definition. <laughs> they don't care about anything. They're <laughs> nihilist or yeah, something like that. But, yeah. Well, that kind of uh, approach to everything. It's like, well, who cares? You know, I don't care. But I will care, but I don't care right now. So, hmm. yeah, it's basically what you just described. Well, because I've always felt like with myself more of leaning towards like a hedonistic viewpoint of like, yeah, I'll do whatever, you know, within reason. Like yeah. if it's like enjoyable, pleasurable. Yeah, that's what, yeah, hedonism is basically what, just seeking the utmost pleasure and shit. I believe so. I heard Basically. it from you first anyway. Well, then. <laughs> well I guess that's what it is. And yeah. So, it's like I, oh, well, I believe in that, but um, I, I feel like I've taken like, well, that and more like a, maybe like, I feel like I'm like a, I don't know if you'd call it like a conscientious hedonist or something. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm here for a good time, but I'm also here for a long time. Right, like, right. Like, well, I care about like Life is crazy, and I'm trying to soak it up for as long as I can. Yeah. It's fucking it. Yeah, so it's like... I hear you there. Just, like, doing what you want to do, but I guess now, especially as you get older, you got to take better care of yourself or something, or it's going to be bad. But, like, um, yeah, just fucking taking care of your fucking right. body, your flesh vehicle. Right. Just, I, I mean, imagine what happens. I wonder what, like... I'm, I've got to be, like, part burger by now. <laughs> I've eaten... <laughs> I mean, I feel like I grew up on chicken nuggets and hot dogs and fish sticks. You know what I'm saying? Mm, well, just shit, man. So it's like, dude, it's shit well, is running through A lot of veins. kids like us grew up like that on just a shitty, well, cheap-ass food. Cause oh, yeah. That's all we had or something. Yeah. Dude, I remember like every day, especially going to my dad's house on the weekend, shit like that. It's like, it's just like Pop-Tarts for breakfast. Then what? We got like banquet meals, like TV, oh, always pop TV tarts dinners sure. and shit. Yeah, and you guys, the Salisbury steaks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's Those like all we had. Tasty and too. then sometimes was weird. cook at home or others. I remember just McDonald's a lot, just all that shit. And I don't know, yeah. And then I was eating like shit for a long time too. Remember, we would go to McDonald's for like a week straight. I think I like, would just, dude. I would. Your hit, mom would take us. There. And with how much I eat, because of my fucking metabolism, dude, I'll just hit like McDonald's, and it's like, oh, I hit yeah. Dairy Queen, then I will hit Burger King, like all in a row or something. You're, you're like a five, a five place stop, like throughout the day. <laughs> you got to end it at what Dairy Queen or something, or you might yeah, go back to dinner throw again that in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But. Um, I don't know. And then I was just working for the longest time and just, uh, when I was, wor when I used to work nights, which was hell, mm. <laughs> I, can't I, I can't even remember what it was like when you were working it nights. Years ago, man, like years ago now. Damn. And it was lame, but, uh, yeah, you know, just getting off. And of course to any other, I mean, most restaurants suck, but you know, all, all that's, left open at night is like the fast food so even the shittiest restaurants and so I'd just be getting that shit and I'd been eating fast food all my life and for years and whatever and then I just I don't know something at one point I just was like getting sick of it like I was just like I can't right. I couldn't finish it anymore I was like oh this is like damn nasty. so that's how it came about yeah and then other I remember things, when you started kicking your shit into gear I, mean, like, I was kind of for the longest time I was healthy anyway by default like even as a kid I've always loved vegetables and <laughs> yeah. shit so I would eat shit like that all the time okay. and not always have candy and stuff but i still like candy and like i said just normal diet parents want to bitch about feed like oh you're eating too much candy it's like you feed me candy for breakfast like yeah. pop tarts and <laughs> yeah. fucking and then for you know having like tv dinners and shit it's like you know yeah. we can't afford much but you know it is what it is and then, right, then that's that, the most yeah, accessible I thing is just some fruity sugary fucking balls of corn meal or whatever yeah. the fuck they made of. And then I think I was just like lucky cuz I would still sprinkle in eating lots of vegetables and shit in there cuz I was just, I liked it as a kid still for the most part. I remember seeing you eat like a bowl of some chopped up p potatoes and water <laughs> and yeah. add some oh, salt okay, here and there. Kind of crazy shit, yeah. Man, I was like you know, everyone's like what the fuck? I was like what is it? <laughs> a potato. <laughs> At that point in my life I had never heard of tomatoes and salt. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> but um, tomatoes Ooh. And then as I got older I Never really Craved Drinks much Like I always I, I Got to a point where I was just Strictly drinking water Yeah And everything 
and for the longest I've done that for like you know probably over a decade at least that's been all of what I drink like I don't have the craving to ever buy anything to drink like sweet drinks or nothing like that so Damn. since since like I already liked vegetables and eating good anyway and like I only drink water anyway then yeah I started to get sick of fast food and then I was like well fuck I uh, yeah I guess you said like start kicking in higher gear I guess right right started to watch shit more and then I just kind of went down a rabbit hole with like getting into like nutrition and shit I know and that's the deepest rabbit hole I've you seen could it. ever I've fucking, witnessed it and it's awesome it was but dark it's and it. horrible oh no I, no, just, cool. I didn't see that part it's cool but it's like the deepest rabbit hole because it's like oh god Talking well, I noticed like, lately I've been asking you before I just go to Google first. <laughs> hey, is it? Because <laughs> you know. I've read a lot is of opposing sides this, and shit. <laughs> I've heard the cons, the pros and shit. Right. And so, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy trying to figure out what's right. You can go off of, like, general, uh, general uh, recommendations for being as healthy as you can right but then if you're trying to get, like, psychopathic about it, you got to, like, really know your shit, like, get your yeah. blood work done find out probably find out your ancestry to know where you came from what kind of shit people like you were eating in the past that's deep to... <laughs> that's deeper than i thought anybody could would want to go with this shit no they're crazy and then like wearing i mean i can see like professional wise why you glucose would... and shit at different times after you eat and so do you have to monitor it all the time well i mean it's <laughs> if, if you're trying new things or trying to find out what's right like for you I feel like at that point, the longevity is just, I'm spending most of my time worrying about what I'm eating and how, what I'm doing. And, that, the, and the other thing is, I want to stress the fact, like, it's not like, I couldn't be, like, crazy healthy, like, 24-7. I'm like, I try to be, like, crazy healthy, like, most of the time, I guess, but uh, uh, I'm not, like, a sociopath. <laughs> <I'm still gonna laughs> yeah. like, like, no sugar ever, no sweets, never. It's like I'll still like. Yeah, yeah. Still got, but yeah, you I know, mean, moderation. you might be a psychopath because you're, you're probably, a sociopath. Well, that, because I seen the candy you buy, and that is not candy. Candy. <laughs> what? That's what you're talking about, wasn't it? Candy. Yeah. No. Or well, yeah, or anything. Well, I'm saying like I'm being a sociopath, saying. like is it not indulging? Just right. That's what nothing I'm ever. Only healthy. It's like well. Yeah, but the sociopath you know. part is when you indulge, but it's in banana flavored candies. I don't buy that shit. Oh, you got that shit? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> sorry, whoever got that for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, banana taffy or something. Yeah, banana anything for me. I I, I don't uh, really know what else there is. It. Like oh, those uh, or the the runts. Oh, it runs, run, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Shape. I shouldn't have bought them. But uh, banana taffy is good. But oh. <laughs> I, I hear you. you know, I, I hear you. Change the subject for you. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been, uh, what, how much do you eat in a day usually? Uh, because I've been eating like two things a day. Not on purpose, just that's how much I've wanted to purchase like i didn't want to throw down a bunch of money on some shit mm -hmm. go overboard get a bunch of shit that's good for me but i'm never gonna you know i, I hate like i have to force a salad down my <laughs> like at work even though there's like chicken in it and i mean is it olives and shit but <laughs> it's like, is it not good enough tasting <laughs> no i fucking hate vegetables dude that shit is uh, that's what i'm saying I, i've never you know I never partook in the vegetable game that much growing up. And if I did, it was very, like, green beans, maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here and there. But, hmm. uh, but you know, I'm forcing it down, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be happy. I don't want to be happy. I want to be, I want to learn what it's like to not get what I want when it comes to indulging in food or most Making things. yourself but, uncomfortable is important. But in terms of diet... Would it be sustainable after a while? Or do you I don't think? Know. I mean, are you to... just are you making shitty salads? Like, how could you not? I'm pumping them full of veggies, dude. There's a lots of veggies in these things. I put a lot of shit in mine, so it's like a lot of shit that I but like. It doesn't so give like... me too much energy. Like, no. I mean, I mean, it's a salad. I don't know. I, I got some chicken in there. What kind of lettuce? You got that spring mix. 
or, yeah, some organic spring mix. It's like a dole I bought. It's like darker greens, right? It's not like iceberg yeah, it's all, lettuce, right? No, it's all darker. Well, that's good. Anyway, it's it'll do for now, you know. I cooked a steak last night with some peppers and mushrooms, but uh, I think the key for me is like if I'm trying to refrain from overeating a bunch of you know shitty junk food or whatever or fast food is just making sure that i have s something in my house whether i like it or not or, yeah i didn't want to fucking make steak last night i just want to roll down my window and go, yeah i'll take uh, <laughs> but now i got dishes to do i didn't even do them last night i just yeah. left them up you know wiped them off but yeah, that's good though. It yeah, was good. Yeah, the steak was fire. That's what I was getting to. Yeah. <laughs> the steak was good with some peppers and mushrooms. Dude. Well, it was good. It seems like you're trying to go down a road of more self discipline or something. Or I appreciate you noticing. Uh, I'm trying yeah. definitely. I uh, I'm just got my feelers out right now though because I I don't know shit about nutrition or diet for the most part. You know. Yeah. So it's like. As long as I feel light, I just want to feel lighter so I can go do shit and feel like I could, you know, jump off the face of the planet or something. Yeah, I'm proud of you because you haven't seemed to get we'll discouraged like. yet. Like, it's harder in the beginning, right? Well, after a while, if you start noticing right. improvements, then it'll be, like, more addicting. Like, oh, yeah, this is great. I want right, to yeah. keep doing it and shit. I just, I think I just went in, I'm going into it, I mean, like, no expectation of seeing anything i'm trying not to look in the mirror even because i don't want to make it uh i just mainly want to make it how i feel i just want to feel fucking like i haven't eaten cheeseburgers for 26 years <laughs> you know <laughs> but uh yeah yeah step in the right direction well, i got you to think for like even having an, the smallest interest in it just seeing what you do i'm like how oh. the fuck do you do it because I, I think you are a psychopath <laughs> well you're probably you're right fucking... uh, you're probably right because at work i'm like i eat my salad so goddamn fast so i can get this shit over with and then carrots ugh, broccoli you know yeah and the thing is like shit i eat like, like a forest in my mouth and i don't like earth tone type flavors you know <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not much shit. <laughs> it's hard for jacob if he hasn't like switching over to natural food He's used to that synthetic everything. <laughs> yeah, Kraft Mac, uh, fucking Kraft American cheese and shit. <laughs> the natural food seems unnatural. <laughs> yeah, it seems really like you're right. That's a good way to put it. Cause well, that's it you gotta. It's unnatural. like changing your body. You gotta change your whole gut biome and shit now, which is what's gonna happen. And so, yeah. is yogurt good for that? I don't know. I don't know. See, there I go again. I just gotta get on Google and so. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully yeah, depending uh, who you ask. I feel a sense of like changing all around. And of course we all do here and there or mm -hmm. whenever in our life, but like obviously changing areas, changing environments. Like almost it feels like things are becoming more solidified. Yes. In certain ways. So that's a good feeling. And I Definitely. think we're starting off the new year pretty good. Hope everybody else is too, you know. I hope you is. Everybody's we're hitting it hard. Doing something, so yeah. Seems like everybody's on something. Definitely, definitely. So now, when you're actually, like, working out every day? Yeah, I I wouldn't call it working out as I'm, like... When I say that, I'm, I use it loosely. Well, you've been running, I'm just doing right? some reps, running, and then doing some reps. Like. And I need to get on that at some point because it's hard for me. I can do cardio things. Like, I could ride a bike all day. I... Like when it's nice out, would play a lot of hacky sack and right. shit, and that's really good cardio. We should get on that this year. Straight up, but then you know? just straight up, like playing running, like just running and shit, that kills me. Like I can't do it because like my asthma start acting up or something, right. you know, like that. They like feel like your lungs are closing up or something. Yeah, or? definitely. Okay. And so I just need to work on like my tolerance, build up a tolerance or something to that. Car some more running cardio. We need to go run some hills. That's what we need to do. That's a good idea. Go to a state park or something. That's a good idea. I feel like running on a treadmill is just kind of limiting. Yeah. It's also kind of helpful right now because I don't, you know, at this point starting out running, I mean, I don't think I ran. I haven't eaten a vegetable since 
It's 2006. I haven't ran since. Really? No, I'm kidding. Mm. Well, I've I mean, had like well, it's probably steamed like, broccoli and shit. Well, but like uh, probably not a tomato. Something coated in like uh, you know, just cooked like all unhealthily. It's like a vegetable, but like oh, it's oh yeah, fucking it's soaked grease or in something. Grease like, and yeah, yeah, salt, whatever spices you want. I nice see in straight raw. Veggies. Yeah, that's what's really foreign to me is like I don't like raw ve- it's especially tomatoes. It's like a a, a heart. Yeah. And it's all juicy and gooey and Yeah, throw some sugar on it. Oh, are you kidding me? I've heard people throwing sugar yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You don't like that? <laughs> you look at me like No, yeah, like you don't like that or no, no, I hate no it, I've man. never I've heard of people saying that and I never heard of that when I was younger. I was like Yeah. Like sugar and tomato, like, of course it's good. It's sugar, like, but like I don't, I don't want to. Right. I like tomatoes and salt as far. Yeah, I guess if I had to choose, it'd be either. I mean, how many days a week do you work out? Like three. Three. Yeah. But Consecutively. I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, so you do every other day? Yeah, and I'm just trying to incorporate. I need to do more yoga. I need to get into doing that more. Are you on going a separate day? Are you going like uh, super hard on each day, and then just taking a day? I um, feel like we should start running. Yeah. Together. I mean, I not together all the time, but I mean, <laughs> <you know. laughs> start a club. Yeah. Of uh, people that don't know how to run or you know haven't been running <laughs> that long. There's gonna be a lot of injuries here. Right. Yeah, you need to get some shoes. What, you've been running in boots and shit? <laughs> <laughs> fucking work boots. Yeah. For the first few days, I had to. Ankles or I something. didn't have anything, but I told myself I was going to run at the beginning of the, you know, on this day, so. Hell yeah. But, uh, I mean, they were like tennis shoes with, with steel toes, you know. <laughs> they weren't comfy. And actually, the day I got the new shoes, I ran longer than I did before yeah. at a faster rate. You keep going muscle. longer every day? No, not every day. It seems like intervals. Like, uh, but the past two days I've made it a point to at least run a mile. And which a little bit over a mile is getting easier. Maybe some days will be easier than others. I mean, earlier this week it was like, I think it was because I didn't have work that day and I hadn't eaten anything. I just like drank a smoothie and some water. Nothing going on. I think my mind was so relaxed that it made running that much more of an accomplishable or, you know, reachable task. Right, right. Because I had no worries. I was watching fucking some nature show on, like, WQP TV or something. What is it? <laughs> WQP? WQPT or yep. something? Uh, Jeff Corwin was on, fucking with some I walruses. Public television or something. Well, yeah, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to start uh, pumping out some music. Definitely. Some visuals. And it's going to get crazy around here. Dude, there's so much so much going on around here. Definitely. That if you don't do something, or if you're not doing something consistently, like putting some sort, you almost feel like, I don't want to say left behind, but you know what I'm saying? It's like you see everybody's putting shit out. Oh, well, yeah. And it's good to see for sure. Definitely. But then it's like. Man, what the fuck am I doing? You know, <laughs> these people are really. That's good. The you know. flourishing community now. Yeah. Helping everyone else flourish. Yeah. Like you're trying. Yeah. Kick them in yeah, the ass. Get going. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's coming around. Yes. That's cool, man. I don't know if you can see anything in this new studio. There's a lot you probably can't see. Need to get the camera mounted better. It feels cozy. A lot of Easter eggs around here. Yeah. You, you you can't see them. Need a better camera. <laughs> Maybe you can. I mean, if you got a big old screen. Uh, uh, if you're watching this on a TV on your uh, Xbox yeah, or something, yeah. you might be able to see. <laughs> just keep it interesting. Stuff. I, I mean, acquiring all this stuff, this is just over the years. Yeah, m- yeah. This is all, like, shit. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, this That is have been in every stuff. studio, basically, throughout the years, like, from old... I started from like old shit I might have had in my bedroom Some of the stuff Yeah and cause then, your, your walls were like Yeah I would covered. plaster my walls with like shit like that Yeah cover them So 
Yeah, some of the shit's just come down throughout the years and we've added more as we've gone along. Some of the shit's like over decades old and then like some of the shit's like not even just over a week old. Like I got some New Year's posters now. Yo. 2019. 2019. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get out of the cynical mindset that I've like found myself in for a long time. Like, you know, I find myself just being hard on other people in my head. You know, maybe not like verbally enact, you know. Yeah. Outward. To other people? Yeah, just people, anybody. Could, I, know, I could know them, I could not know them, just passing on the street and look at look at you wrong it's just like you start thinking all this crazy mean shit in your head yeah i just want to try to get away from the mindset that everybody's out to get everybody you know what do you think caused that for you have you always been like that yeah uh maybe not always but as far as i can remember i've always felt that way in social environments i've always been like Oh, a little hostile, I feel like. High strung. High strung. That's the bit, yeah. Not hostile. <laughs> well. But high strung, a little high st- hostile. <laughs> a little hostile. <laughs> I remember this is fucked up, too. I, l- I still look back on this memory and I I just like <sighs> fucking face palm super hard. I, uh, it was like a birthday party, right? The first one I ever had with like friends from yeah. school. So. Kindergarten or first grade, I can't remember. But, uh, so, you know, I invited the whole class. And as soon as everybody was in the house, I just started getting very, like, angry and anxious because I seen people just jumping on the beds yeah. and, you know, just trashing the fucking plate, just being kids, you know? I should have been having fun, but the whole time I was worried about what are they going to fucking do to the house, you know? Over at your house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, to... it's, like, just some kind of, I mean, what would your, like, if something happened, like, what, the parents are going to, like, blame you? Jacob, God damn it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I was acting like that was yeah, the case, Yeah, it's, like, too, sometimes, yeah. like, little kids have, like, uh, uh, you know, anxiety for no good reason. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, yeah. I've yeah. had plenty of times like I'm that sure, as yeah. a little kid, you know, like. <laughs> I, uh. You freak out over nothing. <laughs> so Straight up. And that's what happened, too. I, <laughs> dude. So it was charades, right? Yeah. It like, was time for a game of charades. Birthday charades. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> you know. We all wrote some shit on a piece of paper. And I showed my buddy. Uh, like, my best buddy at the time. Uh, the one that I wrote. And it was like. I'm sorry. Excuse who? Your, your best who? <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> we. we <laughs> <laughs> Sorry You don't know what was where <laughs> Continue No but uh We'll talk later <laughs> <laughs> So he knew what I wrote And it was uh, the dog I wrote You know to act out A dog taking a shit You know taking a poop Whatever Okay It's like squatting <laughs> And taking a poop And uh And Uh Our friend Jade Pulled it <laughs> And she didn't know And then she read it But then uh my buddy blurted it out in front of people. You know, we're all supposed to guess what this, you know, what she is or what she's doing. And he blurted it out. Oh, dude, she got the one with the <laughs> the dog taking a poop. <laughs> and dude, I shit you not, I just freaked out and I, I like slammed him up against the not not, not like I'm, <laughs> I was super strong. I, mean, I just threw him up against by his collars of his shirt like you ruined it <laughs> in front of everybody the whole class and uh oh man I mean can you imagine what they thought of me after that thinking like uh, who the fuck is this kid? Jake is very sensitive Dude. I was like you ruined it it's like those kids that cry if they lose at sports in school it's like it's school dude it's like were you like what you cried for board games or oh, something? Yeah. <laughs> the kids that got super mad and cried when yeah, they yeah. lost. I think like, kids like you were in like kickball, yeah. high school, maybe even middle school. It's like you lose a game. Oh, middle in gym, school for sure. Losing yeah. a game in gym class and all these kids that are super into sports, they're like crying. I'm Fucking, like, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. It's like Jesus, dude. Yeah, that was basically me Take as a it child. Easy. <laughs> So I feel like, yeah, we'll get away with get away from that kind of mindset, you know. <laughs> I bet to this day, them kids, man, 
Logan Leopards represent. Uh, I bet them kids still remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked to people that have similar experiences where you just freak out as a kid, and it was like your first realization of how people, like you're conscious, you're, you can become conscious of the fact that somebody else is viewing you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, somebody yeah. else has a perspective of you now or something. Right. right. So it was real. Mm-hmm. So I had this twitch ever Some since. people seem to go their whole life and never experience that. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to meet those people. Where do they live? Hmm. Fucking Mars? Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe mentally they do, but... Yeah, like... It's hard not to notice when you got... idiots. <laughs> people let you know, usually, it seems like. I feel like... That's the best way if our, like, faults and our mistakes are just put out there. Mm-hmm. Not publicly in the sense that everybody fucking knows, but you know, just known. Now we're not trying to cover anything up. Full transparency. Yeah, right, right. So, let's keep everything in check. <laughs> yeah, trying to. Are you feel any withdrawals from sugar or fatty food or something? There. Uh, only when it gets dark, and uh, and I'm like just at home. I'm not tired yet And we're watching a movie Cause I usually ate When I'm watching a movie. When I'm watching a movie I'm fucking You know Yeah I usually got a bag of food In front of me What about you? I mean it's been uh, Well been I was gonna say that When you said Nighttime cravings That made me think of uh, Last October I did Sober October This year for the first time And I Have like Smoked weed For <laughs> uh, many years and like yeah. oh. pretty steadily like since the beginning for the most part like I used to take vacations like a few times when I was like earlier when I had started smoking like if I was gone like on like a week long vacation like when I was younger as a kid like you know, I wouldn't smoke then obviously right right other than times like just times like that I literally think I smoke like every day Pretty much, like I could probably count on like one or two hands, like yeah. the days I missed. I, I swear. And, and you say missed as in like missed days of work or something, like or like. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but. Um, so uh, it was a clearing. Did you feel? Yeah, any- and I was concerned. Like I've well, I talked to other people. Like I tell like oh I did I tried sober October and some people were like, oh I I could never do that. <laughs> like I I couldn't, and I, I thought. Or like I don't think I can and that's how I thought like I was like I don't know like if I really but then I was like what am I a fucking bitch like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah, this. like right. it's just a discipline thing you know yeah and and then again that comes down to the whole hedonism thing I was like I just smoke just because I enjoy it right and it doesn't cause me any problems I've never had nothing like it's all oh, it's ruined my life or yeah. <laughs> I'm a lazy piece of shit now <laughs> nothing like that no so you know I just did it because I enjoyed it like fucking Hedonism. <laughs> Spark up. <laughs> Some dumb yeah, shit. and all the while you're maintaining, a, you know, for the most part. I always try and a good diet and hold a good myself lifestyle. to a certain like, standard. Like you're being active I, too. Right, right, and like when I smoke, it's like I don't want to. I try and hold myself to the standard of being like, all right, we're not gonna just sit down and space out or something. You're gonna like right. get high and go do some shit, be productive or whatever right. to maintain just that. That's a good idea. That's good thinking. Too. But that's so I was hard like, I don't do. know if I could quit for that long. Like I was like, hmm. But I was like, well, of course I can. What am I saying? Uh, but I was like, I wanted to practice. Earlier that year, I uh, I quit for like a week or maybe five days, and I was like, okay, whatever, that's fine. So then when the time came, and I said it like so far back in yeah. advance, that I was like, told myself like a whole year. Basically, I was like, I'm doing it next year. I was like, no shit. So I had like however many months to mentally like just be like, all right, fuck. I've told myself I'm gonna do it, so I better fucking do it, or else I, or else I'd really feel like a piece of shit. Like, oh, I can't fucking, you know, like really, right, (laughs) right. Wow, but I'd feel like shit. So did you you withdrawing at all? Nah, really. It was fine. Obviously, like nothing crazy. Obviously, weed's not that big of a deal, but. depending on the person sometimes but 
what I really noticed, like, you know, after a while, during later in the month, like, it was just normal, you know, I was just like, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. whatever. But um, at first, for a while, um, it, it's fine. Like, I don't notice much during the day at all, you know, I could go all day. But then later at night, if I'm just sitting around, like, before bed or something, I'm just like, I would notice myself being like, oh, time to load a bong or something right. like fucking, <laughs> just because that's like my natural, like I would, I normally always smoke at night as well as the day, but also <laughs> at night is the main time. So I, I don't know, my body was into that habit, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess just if I'm sitting around at home, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, like me with my food and uh, me and my food, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With my cre- that's when I'm the weakest is when it's nighttime. I'm just yeah. at home, laid up. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Or especially if you don't have good food to eat at home, it's like you'd have to like prepare something. It's like if I could just go through the drive thru Dude, straight <laughs> up. And I'm not leaving. And I'm not leaving to get healthy food. You know, because if I leave my house, I'm getting something delicious. <laughs> I need to reward myself. <laughs> right. Going out, yeah. yeah. That's you exactly to, what exactly, it is. Uh, dude. Oh, I'll, I'll get an ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck. I get a large, yeah. extra large. That's always been my shape. weakness too, was ice cream. Oh God. But yeah. Um, but Sober October is good And I want to do it every year yeah. And I tried to go a little bit crazy too I made sure that whole month I ate really healthy too I cut out all processed sugars And everything And I was pretty much Tried to be like gluten free Yeah Pretty much the whole month Just to try Just to see if I could go that long Being strictly healthy too Right Because I'm pretty much healthy Like So you felt pretty good at the end of October then huh? Yeah Cause well, I'm like healthy like 80% of the time I guess out of the year Cause for the most part like I'm healthy all week And then it's like on the weekends I might eat out Of course you know cause I just can't prep That much food <laughs> Right. I eat so much I prep food on fucking Sundays you know And then it's out by the weekend So that I normally eat out on the weekends Yeah. And sometimes I try to still eat Healthily like on the weekends But normally sometimes I'll get like ice cream And all that shit or be really bad or something days off are super hard for me like to not be like i just want to wake up go down on a routine bk get me some <laughs> bacon egg and cheese Ooh, some croissant sticks or something. croissant <laughs> croissant 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 but uh um i feel like once i move into chateau de, <laughs> day whatever chateau the de la mob. <laughs> yeah de la mob, <laughs> whatever nice. uh it's gonna be a lot easier, you know. Not to say that you'll have to hold me accountable, but it'll be. It's gonna know, get real. My habits will be out in the open. You know, in plain view, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. What I'm cooking, what I'm eating, what I'm doing. <laughs> so. Speak for yourself. I'm closing the door. Yeah. I don't wanna <laughs> yeah. see that shit. Yeah. Hey, uh, so if anybody needs a room, <laughs> I got a room for rent. Uh, <laughs> This isn't a fucking halfway house. You can't come here. <laughs> Plan on getting healthy. You have to be healthy to move in here. <laughs> yeah. It's a lifestyle, folks. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> Had some puff and chugging down on this fucking God knows what. I don't know yeah, what's in here, man. Well, some people say, oh, it's, yeah, like you were saying, like, oh, it's, it's worse it's for, worse you, than for cigarettes. you. It's like, well, at least you can use it as a good tool to get off cigarettes. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, and you haven't. You, you can't win because whatever you're doing, someone's gonna tell you it's bad for you. As soon as I heard that, about I'm like, did you see this on fucking Facebook? It might be bad for you. I don't know. Well, I don't really care either because yeah, especially even when you're trying to eat healthy too. What are you eating? Team. Bread? What are you eating? Corn? What, right. What are you doing? Well, that's how I feel like it's gonna be around here. Are those <laughs> legumes? <laughs> I actually looked it up. I thought uh, it said something about them being good for you i know every dude every like food or nutritional advice or diet you can oh here's why oh it's super good for you oh here's why it's super bad for you every, right every single it's like when it comes to nutrition is there anything that anyone is like on both sides like agree on <laughs> like i don't know it's well, all over the fucking place like it. i'm yeah. sure there's some some things but yeah, I don't know. Like, don't eat raw chicken or <laughs> like some basic shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I seen a <laughs> video earlier me. today of like some chick trying to act all sexy while eating like a 
a piece of raw meat. I'm like, that's fucking disgusting, like dude. Beef? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, I mean, my just mom. beef straight out of, probably just straight out of the fucking wrapper that you get at, like, the... Not steak, but, like, a ground beef? Shit. No, yeah, no, not ground beef. It was steak. Okay, dude. My but does mean steak's beef, right? Oh, uh, dude, uh, my fucking mom I used see. to, like, make <laughs> ground beef. Yeah. I remember we, she like, would, like eat, we caught her eating like, stuff. little meatballs, fucking roll up some balls of ground beef. Just oh, wait, eat. just straight ground beef? Yeah. Damn. Well, sometimes she'll put pepper on it. I've seen her eat steak before, too. Steak. Raw. Yeah, no, straight up ground beef. Sometimes she'll put, like, some pepper on it or something. She'll just, while she's making burgers, she'll take a ball of it and just eat it. Like, what yeah, the some fuck? old school shit, man. I, I feel like that's. I, I, first of all, I don't like ground beef. <laughs> Second of all, I, mean, I don't know, like even raw steak, like I just. Oh, why? Geez. It's all slimy still from taking it out of the package. Yeah, or something. I like it when it's. Can you cooked. imagine it how the, she smell or like breath smell? It's disgusting. It's just, you know, of course, trying to be all hot, tatted up, <laughs> eating in front of the camera, yeah. and it's just like, ugh, dude, <laughs> what the fuck am I watching right now? Was it nice and bloody? No, no. That's what it, that's what I'm saying. It looked exactly like it does when you take it out of the package. Is this a food pink and slimy? <laughs> pink and slimy. Yeah. But uh, but it looks like it would taste fire, but it probably well doesn't taste terrible. But it probably doesn't taste good. Well, before we had fire, I, I guess a little char it, on mine. You know? Before we had fire, it was good. That's all we had to eat. Right. Raw ass fucking. I guess. Shit. Yeah. Is that what? Oh, that's probably why everybody loves fire. You know, it's like. <laughs> oh, fire gives life. So good. To cooked meat. I don't know to how dead, I've gone this long dead. talking about food. Well, now we're talking about it. We gotta keep going. I'm I'm hungry no, now. No, I'm dude. starving. Dude, I didn't even realize how hungry. Damn I was. it! You asked earlier if I was hungry. I was like, uh, I can't really tell right now. <laughs> Oh, My body's all now. fucked up right now. <laughs> I feel all out Getting of whack, kind of. But this. We'll see what it's like. I, I'm not going into it like look paying too much attention to my diet uh, or what I'm eating, like to the extent that like you know it's this many calories. Um, this isn't good for you. This is you know mainly I'm just eating vegetables and meat. I mean. At this point, and fruits. Yeah. And a little yogurt. Like, in the smoothie, but... Sounds good. For now, I just want to build a habit to eat shit that I don't want, or that I don't even enjoy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've heard it. I've heard a saying, like, what, it takes, like, 21 days to build a habit, or make a habit. I heard, or yeah, like. I've heard that, too. And again, yeah, your body... I hope that's true Your body has broccoli, to get adjusted dude, to all this anyway, because if you've just been eating all shit, your gut shit... And like you're just used to whatever, that mouth pleasure and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you know. No, I hear you. Um. So yeah, it's like right now, or I don't know how long it would take. It's like if you if you keep eating healthy, it's like your whole gut biome's gonna change, you know. And right. What if I get I, fucking sick or something? <laughs> get the cold or something? Yeah, I don't know. If you try to go keto, you might uh, fuck around right. and. We won't go that hard. What if you accidentally, yet. all this stuff, you're like, fuck, I'm keto. <laughs> Why well, feel like shit? God damn it. That would be yeah, fucking hilarious. Like shit. Well, I guess 2020 will be the year once I get out of this keto flu. <laughs> right, yeah. like shit. That's kind of my thoughts on it, too. It's like 2020, I want to feel the best I've felt. And right. I'm not going to feel that good this year. Oh, I don't decade. plan on it. <laughs> it's going to take a fucking year. It will probably take more than a year to get back to feeling like actually healthy and shit. Or get to feeling healthy. I've never felt. Oh, I feel good. I feel strong, dude. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's uh, man. I'm fucking tired after that pizza. That entire pizza I just ate, you know. So I, I need punishment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. Like we were saying it's, earlier, like I just want to. Gog and shit, like, fucking, be brutal. Right. Just fucking. I wish, I mean, not as brutal as him. I mean, that dude. <laughs> well, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brutal on myself in that sense for sure because I don't want to. I've been comfortable and hungry or, you know, and satisfied and my belly's been full for like 26 years. You know what I'm saying? When I've had work and money and shit. I mean, I've, and being a child, I've always but. been satisfied if I eat something good and healthy. Yeah, but what's good and healthy, man? I haven't found that yet. I got to do some more research because 
even the steak and peppers last night was not really up to par. <laughs> I was, <laughs> afterwards, I was like, man, I could go for some fucking ice cream right now. Well, do you even like season your shit that much? Yeah, well, season or it. use any kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes delicious. Do you, I do guess you use, it's like, not any raw herbs or. Maybe I'm just so garlic. used to that. Do you use like raw onion and garlic? Oh, I don't use uh, onion. You don't like it? Oh no, God, I fucking hate it. You I'll use it wait. eventually, and while I'm cooking something, maybe. Yeah, you don't like onion and garlic. I love garlic too. Ooh. No, I don't like onion, man. At all, you don't like the Ooh. flavor. I don't like any of that crunchy shit. <laughs> but I mean, onion. Maybe you could get onion powder. Yeah, no, I do fuck like with I'm onion saying, powder. You like the flavor or no? You wouldn't. I like the it? flavor. I do like the flavor. Um, the texture. Yeah. Maybe the texture mixed with the flavor. It's just oh man. You know, it's like taking a shot of liquor or something. I can't stomach it. Hmm. Sound like a bitch right now, but <laughs> I fucks with garlic though. Heavy. Well, I fucks with yeah. garlic. Are heavy. I love garlic. You're putting some raw garlic on your steaks. That's what you need. That's not. I think my problem really is dessert, man. Well, that. But then something again, something sweet well, at the end of the savory. Well, you you know? gotta eat something good like a healthy fruit. Oh God! <laughs> what? Man, it's gonna be a long. You imagine that? Eat a fat steak and then afterwards you have an apple for dessert. <laughs> well, like I I'm maybe saying. an apple pie. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> a whole apple pie would be sick. This is gonna be a long year, folks. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. It's you gonna can be feel, good, you can man. feel the pain just from listening to this. It's gonna hurt so good, dude. Hell yeah! Oh, I, mean, I was thinking banana, maybe grapes. Oh, I don't enjoy any of those, man. I have to blend that, all that shit up in the I was thinking of uh, trying to maybe get some, like, healthy ice cream, maybe some keto ice cream, or, like I said, they have some paleo cookies at the store. I'm like, hmm. I need they to just be... Them out. I don't know I need to just start doing that, too, for when I have the craving, so I don't even need to... What makes a cookie paleo? Um, you know, it was Not like paleo. fucking rice or, like, almond flour or something. Like, mm. And, like, I don't know what they use for, like, to sweeten it. But yeah, who knows? It might probably taste like shit, but it'd be know. something to quell that urge. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that urge for something definitely sweet. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I try and get. In, I've tried to to get me to stay eating healthy. It's like, yeah, I'll eat my healthy food. Then yeah, if I crave dessert, I try to get in the habit of like, okay, I'll eat a fruit or something. So I mm-hmm. get some sugars, and then so maybe I'll just get into that habit of just being like, oh, I want some fruit, like. I've always liked right, vegetables like more than fruit. I've never been a big it. fruit eater, except like for I do like apples. Pineapples. Well, apples are okay. I love pineapple, bananas. I've seen and you mount down on some pineapple oh, before. Some pineapple. It looked like you're really enjoying it. Dude, pineapple. I almost didn't even talk to you because like the best. What did you say? Pineapple. Cranberries? No. Well, go ahead. Well, no. pineapple, <laughs> bananas, and grapes. Ugh. Pineapple, I, I can, it's just, I don't know, I'm never appetized. I like red grapes, I like the dark. The red dark grapes, shit. you know, what about the green ones? They're fine, but I usually buy the dark ones red, black. You ever seen them cotton candy grapes? Yeah. That, I mean, first of all, I don't even like cotton candy. My girlfriend likes the green grapes, and those are like the green color, but she's like, ew, those are fucking disgusting. I was like, how do you not like them? What, talking about the, the red cotton, grapes? Or the cotton candy? Talking about candy. the cotton candy grapes. I feel her because uh, I don't want a grape that tastes like cotton candy. It's not like a piece of candy where it's just artificial flavor cotton candy. I mean, it, I think it, I thought it was okay. I tasted them, I had them like once, so I only had like maybe one or two, like just, but I thought it was like, I was like, oh, it tastes like it, a grape with like a hint of cotton candy to me. I was like, oh, that's okay. Like, it just seemed like extra fruity or you something. You know, I have like, a strong Ooh. opinion on this, even though I've never even eaten one. <laughs> I've just... I fucking hate <laughs> fucking <laughs> cotton Anything candy cotton grapes. candy has never been good. Bubble cotton gum? Cotton candy, I don't really indulge in. Cotton candy is just like pure sugar. It's just like, I... My fucking... It looks cool, you know. I feel like my teeth are going to cool. fall out by the time I get done <laughs> eating that shit. <laughs> like, All right. I know. What is me? No, I hear you. So a circus is no no go when it comes into town. We mm-hmm. can't we can't make a mob trip. Well, like Dude, let's go to the we're circus. We're gonna do it. Like yeah, like I said, I'm not a psychopath. We indulge every now and then. I'll have some fucking uh, some nachos. Do some like hot dogs are so bad for you. Mm. Such shit. But do some hand dipped corn so dogs, dude. Oh yeah, some corn dogs. 
Now we're talking carnival. We're not talking circus no more. I don't think they serve <laughs> corn dogs at the. I'm just thinking what the mark sells usually. Oh. Or the I was it the is it the I Wireless Center now? The Tech Slayer Center. <laughs> That's a cool name, dude. I guess. <laughs> No, it's not. That's so whack, dude. That's so dumb. The mark of simple. I always call it the mark. Everyone always calls it the mark. Yeah. I really want to buy it so I can rename it the mark. You know, that'd be a really relatable meme right there. You're old if you remember this being called the mark. Yeah, they have. Oh, I could see that on a, like a QC meme page. Or oh, something. it's been done, Jake. Oh, it has? Quad City memes. <laughs> Holler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least, I mean, someone's doing it at least, right? <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh, we got the thing pumping now. We got it pumping. The lava lamp, are, it's like, it finally got going. It take, It's like a diesel engine. It takes a while to heat up. <laughs> I don't know what to <laughs> say. <but laughs> no. We had that thing on for like an hour before you're going to see some real lava. Yeah. I'm glad we got it. When well, it happens, we got you it should edit it the... to where it zooms in. I'm glad where... you could see this. <laughs> as soon as the lava starts, boop, that first boop. one, boop. zoom in real quick on that when we edit this. <laughs> Put in a fart noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I moved the, got the studio set up, so I moved the lava lamp over here. I saw on the bottom of it, it's, it has like the date on it. It said like 1996. No shit. Like, I'm, I'm just happy it hasn't caused a fire yet. Yeah. That'll be the <laughs> so, demise of this studio. So he taped it to the wooden floor. <laughs> and we'll have to <laughs> move to a new studio again here shortly. No, I, I really like... Uh, now it's just a... It gets in the little center. like It's just a big lava dick now. Yeah. It's, this is bullshit. It's very phallic. <laughs> <laughs> Get a new one. <laughs> Hopefully, uh... Once we get that uh, that room set up, that's gonna be that's gonna be it right there. It's gonna be it. It's gonna be all of it. Did you find there was enough space to do your thing in there? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we should be good to go. We're gonna be all set. It's gonna get crazy now. Yes, sir. We're gonna get some more podcasts to you. We we're glad get- to be back for this new year. To, we're here to ring you in for the new year. A yeah. uh, week late, over a week late. Yeah, oh. yeah. and probably two weeks by the time this shit comes out. <laughs> <laughs> new year, new me. No, new, new year, new studio. New studio, stu- stu- studio. <laughs> um, we gotta have Tom on sometime. We gotta. Ha- we're gonna get a lot of people on this year. I hope you're ready. If yeah. there's anyone out there, shout out to Tom if he's listening. He's not. If he listens. God damn it. For helping us with the vid. <laughs> Another mob Some more mob visions woods. coming at you soon. Some more merch. Some more <laughs> music. Some more videos. Video? Video. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I need to get some food. Oh. Oh, you're pussying out on me. Okay. I'm leaving. You can keep going. Yeah, honestly, I will. <laughs> Poor Bill, everybody. Code V, everybody. No, no, you you keep going. Oh no, no, we're in it. I'm good. No, I gotta get some. No, we're not. Too. Sit there, <laughs> please, and fucking do this, <laughs> please. Yes, we will be back again shortly with a special guest next time. They're all special. They're all yeah, special. Me. We went to the special school to get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Xavier's school for gifted children. This one. <laughs> Correct, correct. Youngsters. All right. Well, it was fun. It was fun, Cody. I hope you like the new studio as much as I enjoy it. I know you don't care, but... <laughs> Believe me, it's we better than it. looking at a blank wall. Yeah, That's we what en- I hate. We enjoy it. Yeah. All right, fuck it. Goodbye. Bye.